this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Skylanders Imaginators! I am here once again playing as Tai Quan Crow. Uh, I've got a lot of money as well, so I am going to go and start doing a few upgrades to, to make uh, him even more powerful than he already is with his amazing fire kick! Before recording, I just spent ages just like kicking at the screen and then like throwing these like, whoa! Like wouldn't this be cool in 3D? Like imagine you're watching this in 3D, but like, whoa! Ninja stars and fire and a little bird that fell off, I think. <laughs> I think I just poured it in and it just fell straight off. It's supposed to be able to fly, isn't it? There we go. Now it's there perched on the edge. Anyway! We're about to- we're about to make a decision, aren't we? We need to go through one of these doors. Uh, I, th I think- is, uh, is Spyro going to explain it again? Yes, take the yes. path of fire or ice before they can move on to adulthood. I think it's like metaphorical or something. So anyway, feel free to choose whatever one you want. This leads to the fire path. Note the fire on the door. And surprise, surprise, this way to the path to ice. Happy picking. And oh yeah. If you see any dragons in there, let me know. Still can't find any of them. Okay, so fire or ice? Let's uh let's make a decision. How are we um how are we gonna do this? Uh let's go let's go ice. I wanna go ice. I fancy having a look this way. Um yeah, I thought I don't know, I feel like fire is the obvious choice. And <laughs> and ice has a frozen sheep in a Christmas hat, and I definitely made the right decision. <laughs> right, the trowel of ice. I don't know, but there, there's a chance that I might need to do fire anyway. Like, you might need to complete both of them, but is it going to let me drop down? There we go. I can drop. Oh. <laughs> right, down, then straight up again. Oh, look, I need a bridge. I'm going to need a bridge to get across there. Can I? Okay, I can slide that, and then that's going to allow me to, to bounce somewhere useful. Uh, it also looks like there's a, uh, a selfie spot down here, so I might as well uh, go and use that. Uh, there's also a bunch of these evil sheep uh, around the place as well. Surprisingly tough, like, the sheep don't do a huge amount of damage, but they take quite a while to, to take out. But yeah, I can upgrade, can't I? Let's go, let's go and do an upgrade now then. Let's, uh, let's make the most of this. So, what can we do? So these are new. We can do, um, throw ninja stars through your flame wall to increase their damage. I like the sound of that one. Uh, then there's this one as well. Fire beak. Press circle to kick your buzzer beak, enraging it to be faster and more damaging. That does sound funny, but I think this is just going to be... This is going to be awesome. So I can basically send fire ones of these through. So let's go and test it out. There we go. That's cool, because that's kind of like what I've been doing anyway. When I've been... um. Um, yeah, like attacking things, and can I, let me get just, uh, right, so close, let me, okay, I think I'm gonna need to, like, bounce, and then, nope, it bounced me up here, do I need to drop down and just land on it then, like, there's an invisible wall, there we go, okay, right, let's, let's take a really boring selfie in a big empty room, shall we, brilliant, good, good choice for a selfie spot, <laughs> I'm only in it for the money, really, that, that's the only reason why I do these selfies, I just want to get the goodies and the upgrades, right then, so, we need to slide these blocks along, I think mainly just to, to, to get them out of the way, so I can then slide this one along. This is the one with the bounce pad. This is this is the one that I care about. So let's slide this along to, to here, and then there we go. That's allowed me to, to get up to, to this place. And now let's knock that down. I don't know if I should have bounced on the things while they were up there, because I don't know if there was anywhere secret I could go, but oh well. Uh, I've got this one down now, so it looks like I can slide this one down to here, and then is this going to allow me to, to get up to the other side of the room? Uh, I think I might need to slide it this way, and can I get up now? <laughs> I can only just about jump in there. There we go. I've made it through the trial of ice. And uh, there we go. That's the, the other side. I think that was an okay choice. And oh, do you reckon, can I bring this bridge back? I needed a bridge, didn't I? I can't bring it back. Okay, no worries. We're we're carrying on going this way. It's quite nice to to get out of the uh, the the cold, to, to be honest. So uh, yeah, these are basically just the bridges that you can you can kind of pick up and just extend down. If you've played Skylanders before, you're familiar with these things. If you've played Skylanders, pushing around blocks and moving bridge bridges should be very familiar to you. There's a few things in Skylanders that that we have come to expect to be there. If I played a Skylander game and I didn't spend half the game sliding around blocks, I would not know what game I'm playing, to be honest. <laughs> right then, let's let's not drop off now, because I don't know how I'd get back up if I fell off now. And whoa! All the way up to the, the top here. Okay, I can slide that down. So I'm basically putting down these blocks, and then that, like the blocks are basically weighing down the floating islands. And then once I slide them off, I'm able to, to carry on jumping up. So that's kind of what I was doing there. And 
I have been rewarded with a chest. Oh, it's a snail chest. It's a snail chest. Let's keep up with it. Oh, it's going really slow. I think it's really slow when it jumps. Normally, I'm like really struggling to keep up with these, but uh, that one was really getting ahead. And uh, as you can see, I care a lot more about the snail than I do all of the enemies. So let's just uh, let's just keep running past all of them and then I can just ignore them all, to be honest. There we go. <laughs> and let's go and get the, uh, the, the goodies at the end. We got some epic, uh, a new sorcerer weapon. The, uh, the Chaos Wand for Chaos. Jolly good. Right then. Oh, oh we're at these. We're at the, um, the Spyro Heads. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's try out my, my new technique then. So I put the fire down, and then I throw the Shuriken through. You can see, like, the little red numbers. Like, that's how much damage I'm doing with the, the fire damage. So it's not like a, a crazy difference, but it's just like, you know, free bonus damage. And uh, yeah, I am not one to, to turn down free bonus damage. So let's put the fire down. That's going to hurt them. The Shurukens hurt them, and the Shurukens are on fire. A deadly combination. There were more of those metaphorical dragon choice thingies. This one we like to call brains or brawn. Are you the brainy type who likes to solve puzzles? Or the brawny type who smashes bad guys. I guess this one really isn't that metaphorical, huh? These choices sure didn't teach me anything about finding missing dragons, that's for sure. Okay, so it looks like I have another decision. So rather than fire or ice, I now have a decision of brains or brawn. So, I don't know, what do you reckon? Do you fancy fighting things or solving puzzles? I think I prefer the puzzles, to be honest. And what's... What is... What's this thing doing? It's like flashing and changing colors. I can slide this around, but I don't know why. Anyway, let's take out the sheep because the sheep's just left standing around there. Like, I can't see where am I? Oh, am I trying to leave it there and then to go to... Uh, oh, I can jump to here. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? And then, oh, this has bounced me up here. And then there's a, a legendary selfie frame, which is here. Is that what I was supposed to do? I think that was what I was supposed to do. Okay, right then, let's go Let's go do the, the brains then. Let's go and struggle through that rather than the, the, the brawn, shall we? <laughs> just because, you know, we do a lot of fighting in these games. Just like pushing blocks and um, uh, and all of the other things that we, we know in Skylanders. There's a lot of battling and I really like the, the brain puzzles. So, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how well I can solve these things. So, uh, this one's simple. I just need to, to stop the dial where it's, uh, where it's kind of glowing yellow like that. So that's one, two, and oh no! Oh, I missed it. Oh, it got really sad. I missed it. And it went like, no. And it's little ears flapped down. Right, let's uh, let's try and not miss it this time. One, two, and then the next one. This one's thinner. There's only three lights. And there we go, right in the middle. And is this going to give me a load of goodies? Yep, that's uh, going to give me another chest. Right then, one of these lock puzzles. And some of these can get quite difficult. If you remember the one in the last episode, that was really difficult because you see that... You see that red guy? Basically, if I hit him, then he's going to, to take me out. So I've got a, a nice barrier with that purple there. But I can't... Oh, yeah, I can send him across to there. I'm trying to get that... I'm trying to get that dagger. And oh, there we go. I, I linked all of those things together. That's really good and all. Let's try and separate us a little bit. And then I can't press down or up here. Let's kind of move the red one to there. And then I kind of want to get the red one just trapped somewhere, really. And then I'm trying to get that dagger. And then I can use that to take out the red one and then make my way to the exit. Let's uh, let's see how quickly I'm going to, to regret picking the, uh, the the brain puzzle, though. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the, the question. Right. So when I get to this situation, there's nothing I can do. I can only go back to the, the right. Because if I press up, the red one's going to hit me. Then if I go down, the same thing's going to happen. I need to I need to try and trap it somewhere. But I don't... I don't know where. I don't know if I've kind of got my got myself stuck here somehow. Because, yeah, I kind of just keep going back to that situation. That's really kind of the only way the green one can go down. I just need to have the red one trapped somewhere. Okay, we're kind of in a bit of a different situation here. Don't think it's particularly helped me here. Um, <laughs> I'm just kind of stuck bouncing back and forth here. I can go back around like this and then... No, like, I, I don't know. I, I think I might have got myself stuck here. Let's just fail. And let's just start again. Like, do I need to, to get rid of the purple things again? Okay, all of the purple things are still back again. Let's try and get the, um... So I don't want to go to the right now, because then I'm just going to complete the level. And I don't want to complete the... Okay. I guess I just completed the level. <laughs> okay, I missed out on the chest, but you know what? I still got my way through. I don't know, are these the actual puzzles? Yeah, it's just a bunch of puzzles and all. Hello. Spray, spray. Stowed away on the ship. Used brains. Found key to this door. But key is mine now. We'll trade for brainy match of creation clash. 
Only brains may pass. You know what? He doesn't seem hugely different. Well, <laughs> if you can't remember what's going on, everyone's being controlled by uh, by chaos and the, the the giant brain. So that's why he was uh, acting a little bit funky there compared to, to usual. Right, let's use Taekwon Crow, uh, who's the um oh yeah the the player we're playing as right now. They can take out that person, and that's good now because if they put oh I was gonna say if they put anyone down in the the middle, I'd be able to get them easily. But that's yeah that's not really the case anymore. I really want to put these ones right up against the uh, the edge. Just because they can't attack at all to the, the left. So maybe let's put this one here. Blue, blue. So then that way, if anything goes underneath it, I can take them out. And also anything to the right, I have a chance. So there we go. We're just going to draw. So they weren't able to, to get me at all there. And then let's put... Um, let's put this one. Let's sneak it down here. Actually, no, because they could kind of get them me from above from there. Let's not do that. Let's put you... Here. And then where if they put one next to it, Evoy. There we go. That means I'm gonna overtake it. Oh no, I did why didn't I overtake it? Okay, oh it doesn't matter. Things are still things are still going okay. So let's go and um well, I guess I can just put this one here. Then I'm not gonna overtake it. It is gonna kinda overtake me back. Actually, no, it's not. I think I'm gonna am I gonna overtake it from the one from above? Oh it didn't do why didn't I overtake it? Oh well, I was able to win anyway. Win. You have good brains. You have key now, too. <laughs> I'm glad I went down this path, because otherwise I wouldn't have seen Brainwash Flynn talking about whatever he was talking about. <laughs> right then, let's go and grab some some more money. I really want to see the um that upgrade for my little buzzer beak uh, to, to basically set it on fire and make it get angry. And I can understand why it would get angry. If someone set me on fire, I think I would be quite angry as well. Oh, it's giving me food. Why is it giving me food? It means it wants me to have full health. Which generally means something dangerous is going to be coming up soon. That's always a, a safe sign. All right, then. Looks like we got some some more bouncy pads to, to make our way up. And oh, oh it's a bit of a, a bridge puzzle as well. So let's go. Let's go across and let's take the the bridge with us because they normally wouldn't let you pick up the bridge unless you um. Uh, yeah, unless you are going to, to need it in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I can place this uh, across here. And I love the background. This place looks really cool, doesn't it? The, the the dragon realm. And then, look, there's like a metal bridge here. I can go across there and grab a bit of money. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I need it for, for anything else either, though. Maybe there's like a, a few different paths that I could go here and choose which direction I want to, to go in. Uh, let's, uh, let's go. Hmm. So I can go to the right. There's also a bounce pad up there. I think I think this just might be some some bonus money down here. So let's go down this way first uh, before we carry on um, uh, bouncing up to the the top. Because uh, yeah, I am really after money right now. It's giving me more food. Maybe, maybe it's just being generous and giving me a bunch of food. Like, normally, if there's a big battle coming up, games like this, they just give you loads of health just so you have it ready. Um, uh, yeah, but maybe it just thought I might be hungry for a second. <laughs> right then, so I can use this bridge to get across here. I think I'm generally supposed to just keep going up higher and higher. I think these are kind of just bonus areas to get more money. And oh, oh I need the wooden bridge now. Okay, I think I need to drop all the way back down and grab that wooden bridge and then bring it back up. So so where, where do I drop down? I don't know where. Is this safe? Is this going to end well? There we go. There we go. That, that could have ended much worse than it did. So let's go and grab this uh, this bridge here. And then hopefully we can bounce all the way back up and I can go to uh, wherever that's going to, to, yeah, to, to lead me to. And then we can keep going and uh, bouncing up the top. So uh, yeah, if you are new here or you just can't remember, which is understandable. So the big thing is uh, the Mighty Brain, one of the, the ancients, uh, has teamed up with Chaos. And then they're basically brainwashing everyone. So that's kind of what's what's going on at the, the moment. And uh, we need to stop them. And it's giving me more food. So many grapes. Grapes. <laughs> More grapes than I can handle. I know, maybe this isn't a bonus way. Maybe this is where I was just supposed to go anyway. So this makes me curious about what was up the other way, but I don't know. Like, I think I can't go back now anyway. Like, the, the big things with games is you're always trying to work out which way you're supposed to go, so you don't go that way. Like, whenever you're looking for secret things, you're always trying to avoid going the way you're supposed to, because, like, games always make it so you kind of can't go back. So, I don't know, maybe I missed out with something there, but it doesn't matter. I've almost uh, got the, the money I needed. What was it, like, 1,200 more gold? I think I needed to, to get the, the big upgrade I was after, and uh, I'm almost at that now. I'm just uh, under a thousand and these ropes they explode so if i can kind of like lure some of these the the she sheep and the the chompers over them and that's going to be a good way to to deal a, a bunch of damage i'm also about to to level up as well now so that's kind of good timing because uh, i was getting pretty weak then and that's kind of put my uh, my health volley back up and there's loads of enemies now they're only the little ones 
And so they're not doing a huge amount of damage. And of course, why did I say that? <laughs> why did I jinx it by saying it's only the little one? And then another one of these giant sheep. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of these giant sheep that's shown up. So I think a good way to, to take these guys out is leaving the fire on them. Because they take ages to charge up their move. And while it's charging up, they basically just stand completely still. And so it's a good way just to kind of deal non-stop damage against them. So I think that's what I'm going to do against them. It's just hard to it's hard to take them out when there's just so many other sheep and other enemies uh, just kind of all running around at the, the same time. So let's get down my little uh, my little bird friend to, to come and help me out. Let's go and put down the, the fire there. See, that's just doing loads of damage. And then just throw all of the shurikens in like that. And then there we go. Look at the experience. Look how much experience is just absolutely everywhere. I think I'm going to level up again here. I think I might go up two levels in this fight alone, which is uh, kind of crazy if you think about it, because you normally go up way slower than that. And there we go. That was a... Uh that was a lot of enemies, right? Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if this is uh, going to be uh, enough experience. Like some of the um, some of the snows falling, and it looks a lot like the experience as well. So I keep going to to pick up snowflakes as well. But there we go, up to to level twelve. I didn't really get any money from that though, but it does look like there is some uh, some money uh, through this uh, open gate now, and also a uh, a chest for me to to get. And inside of it, I will get a pair of shoulder guards, steampunk pauldrons, I think that was called, or pauldrons. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Right then, so what am I supposed to do here? Looks is this like a gong? Okay, I think I need to I need to line them up. I need to move this one across to here and then slide the other one across. I think I need to like link them up. Oh, but how? Oh, can I slide this one here and then there we go. I slide that one there. And then do I ring it? I do ring it. Is that gonna open the door? Okay, and then that's opened the, the door for this. This place just looks so cool, doesn't it? I love the the Dragon Realm. I don't know what these were, those those platforms on the ground. I didn't know if they did anything, but uh, I guess not. All right then, let's uh, let's keep moving up because we haven't faced chaos in a while, and so I know I know he must be looming with another one of his pretty rubbish Doom Raiders for for me to. Oh. Whoopsies. <laughs> Fell down. What's your step? Oh, no, no, don't, not again. Aren't I a bird? Shouldn't I just be able to fly away? <laughs> it probably would be quite difficult to fly while holding the shurikens and, you know, with all of the armor on as well, to, to be fair. All right, then. Right on cue. Here is Chaos. Don't you know that I've already won? Maybe I should just put you out of your misery, eh? This doom lander likes sharp arrowheads, fancy bows, and long walks on the beach. Please welcome... Him! Doomlander. Bowslinger class. All hail my ultimate awesomeness! Alright, let's uh let's go and have a, another battle then. It's always good like because when you defeat these Doomlanders, you bet, oh god, look at this guy's dodging. They never normally dodge. They normally just stand still and wait for me to, to hit them. <laughs> this guy's got a brain. Yeah, so I like these battles because normally, like after you defeat them, you basically unlock all of their equipment to, to make your own Skylanders out of. So I'm always kind of like eyeing them up just to see, you know, how good they are. Like, ooh, am I going to want to use that bow? That bow seems pretty cool. So <laughs> that's what I'm kind of always thinking of when I first see these new Doomlanders. And that attack's pretty crazy. It's okay to dodge, though. I think you just don't want to be too close to it because uh, once you kind of see where the um, the arrows are going, you do have time to, to dodge. And he's actually properly avoiding me. He's like teleporting away from me and stuff. Like normally they kind of just stand still and soak up the damage. But this guy's actually trying to stay away from me. Totally doesn't matter because I've totally taken over all of Skylands. I still can't help but want to see you suffer. So I am giving my Doomlander a secret technique and eagerly anticipating your demise. Totally, 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 totally. Right, let's go put the fire down now while he's charging up. And uh, he's going to have a new move now. What's this? Are these like, are they, is that like ice arrows? Can I destroy them? Uh, they're just like really slowly chasing me. There we go. I think I need to, to make them um uh, to, to make them hit like the uh, the platforms or something. And then that's the, the way I avoid them because they travel really, really slowly. <laughs> but while I'm kind of dodging them, I can kind of send my little uh, my little boat bird friend in to try and deal some damage that way. And once again, like while he's charging it up, he does just stand still. So that's like a, a really good time for me just to kind of hopefully put fire down. And uh, and yeah, and that should just do loads of damage against him. But these, these like homing ones are really annoying. So I just got to really slowly dodge them the entire time. Like, those other ones aren't so bad. They're pretty easy to avoid. But the other ones are just really annoying, so I've just got to keep backing off. Can't your demise go any faster? Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. To speed up your demise, maybe I just need to slow you down. With sheep! 
Okay, it looks like uh, sheep are going to be added to the 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 mix now. So okay, I don't I don't think he's changed the uh, the the Doomlander at all. He's just added a bunch of sheep as well for for me to to deal with. I don't know. That arrow got really close to me. I reckon that's going to do a bunch of damage if that actually hits me. I do not want that to to happen. Right then, do you think I should just carry on trying to take him out or go after the sheep? I'm just going to do both. I'm just going to go after whatever kind of ends up closer to me or what I think is going to be easier to do. I wonder if I can use the um the homing arrows to try and make them hit a sheep. I wonder if that's going to be an effective thing for me to do. it. Oh, I couldn't dodge. I couldn't see what I was kind of doing there. Let's go. Let's go and try and deal with some of these uh, these sheep then, shall we? And oh, can I get them? There we go. I can make the arrows hit the sheep. That is a pretty good idea. But I am getting pretty hurt right now. If you look at my, my health, I'm pretty damaged right now. I've got to be really careful to avoid these arrows. I have dealt out a lot of damage, though. If you see the, the, the Doomlander, he is getting pretty hurt at this point. So we've done, we've done decent damage to each other. It's just kind of who's able to, to kind of win now. So let's back off a little bit, really make sure we avoid them. Go and send out my little bird. And, well, oh, that was good. He sent out the, the ice uh, arrows, but three of them just kind of hit this platform immediately and weren't able to, to do anything. So let's uh, kind of keep dodging and back it off. And look how weak he is. And oh, did I get him? I think I took him out just as he hit me at the same time. And there we go. Doom lander down. Eh, no big deal. Doesn't matter if you losers win or lose. No skin off my nose, because I've already brainwashed most of Skylands, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. Nothing! <laughs> Level up. Okay, there we go. Another Doomlander down. And what goodies are we going to get for our work? We're going to get loads of goodies. So yeah, this should be all of the the, the things that that Doomlander were were using. That's going to be the catchphrase about all hell my awesomeness. Yeah, there we go. The ultimate, or my ultimate autumn, uh, awesomeness. Uh, then there's his leg guards, which look pretty boring, but I'm sure they're fine. Uh, the bow one. And then at the end here, we got the weapon. That's the, uh, the Doom bow plus 40 damage. Not too shabby if you ask me. Still, though, haven't found any dragons here. Oh, but what's this? Nice job, buddy. Like what you did there. Real quality work. And hey, check this out. I found the dragons. Even better, they say they can fix all this brainwashing. According to the legends, our dragon magic is the only thing that can reverse the power of the ancient brain. But of course, no dragon has attempted this in thousands and thousands of years. Whoa, really? Oh. Um... Okie dokie. I guess that is what we're doing. Um... 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 Well, Skylander, now that we've unbrainwashed everybody, it's time to finally go after Chaos and take down that little pipsqueak once and for all. But first, why not try out the new dragon wings? See what it's like to be one of the cool kids. Ooh, I got some uh, some new dragon wings. So there we go. The 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 brain control just isn't working anymore. So uh, that means all of the Skylanders should be able to team up and finally go and battle Chaos. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. And I'm going to be doing that while playing as chaos <laughs> i got one of the, the the figures of chaos and oh no, let's take a selfie with the elder dragon that'd be cool oh uh, yeah so i got a um a figure of chaos so i'm going to be playing as chaos while i go and try and take down chaos so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing in the, the next episode hopefully you're going to enjoy that but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you all later bye